Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Speed Paint Character Designs where I am developing characters for Ninja Empire which is my 2D fighter comic book project that I'm currently working on and this character is an experiment. So it was an experiment that I tried on Facebook because what I'm trying to do is something for Patreon, trying to give them a little bit more of a perk and I wanted to see how this would actually play out. So what I did was I posted three separate profile heads full in color and I said okay which one do you actually want to develop further? You know they picked one, there was a suggestion made to ramp up the character design on one of them so I went ahead and did that and then I went and made this character and so the idea behind it is that I would go ahead and allow the um, allow the ninja empire to decide who they actually wanted to have in the ranks of the game which I thought was pretty interesting you know and it brings in a community because not everyone will be able to have that direct influence over uh, who gets in and what decisions are made. And so while I'm over on Twitch and on YouTube and I'm doing these, these live streams, it's really easy to, to be like, oh, well, why don't you add this or why don't you add that? And I really enjoy that. I love the idea of bringing the community into this project so that they can feel as, oh man, I had a part in making that character and I don't know it just seems like something that would be pretty interesting and to put it in as a perk at a very low tier I think would really really make it interesting for a lot of people so that's something that I'm going to be starting um, come July and it'll be every month I'll post it in the, in the beginning of the month and it's like hey you know pick pick the character that you really want to see developed and then you know whatever they decide and it's whatever they decide you know and then I might go back and say hey I'm thinking about weapons what do you think about this what do you think about that and stuff like that if you can't make it to the streams and you can still be involved in this character design so with this character I actually have a name which is great because my my chat actually helped me with that they're like hey I think we can come up with a name because I as we all know stink at names and so they came up with um, Grandmaster Rhyme not like I can speak in rhyme but <laughs> R-I-M-E you should go look it up R-I-M-E and what that means you might pull it together once I tell you a little bit about this character so he is my ice character so this character has the ability to control ice pretty much like sub-zero i you know I'm always going to go back to mortal kombat people always reference my work and they're like man this looks like mortal kombat and i'm like great that means i'm doing something right so i figured if the character that i've developed uh, is a ice character then you know let's keep sub-zero in mind and so this is going to be my sub-zero character but I wanted to try and make him something of my own. I combined the ideas of Sub-Zero and Scorpion together. You know, um, what you will see later in the in the design is that he has these ice weapons and the gauntlets that go around. So he's got these gauntlets that are on his arm and that intensifies his ability to use his natural magic, which is something that actually happens in the storyline. So I'll be talking about that a lot later. Um, it's called, I can tell you, it's called Twined Magic, um, but I won't get into it because that's something completely different. But it allows him to enhance his ability, and what it does is it creates any type of ice weapon, right? So he has used that to create weapons, and what he really likes is to have a sword um, and a chain, right? So he can actually throw it, and it shoots out just like Scorpion, right? Hits you and you can pull it in. And what makes it cool though, is if you're fast enough to catch it, right? He'll snap it off and you won't be connected to him. And it's just a piece of ice, right? For those people who don't know how to use it, it's not really gonna do anything. I mean, it's, it's pretty thick, but you're not gonna be able to do anything with it. And when I say I wanted to make something different and I combine the idea of Scorpion and Sub-Zero, 
I wanted this character to not represent the ice, right? And it was like, it's calm, it's cool, it's collected. Like, I didn't want to do that in the slightest. Like, I want this character to be very aggressive. I want his fighting style to, you know, just push on, like, the anger that is in Scorpion with the powers and abilities that are in Sub-Zero, right? So this character when I was developing him we were trying to figure out in the stream you know what kind of character and I said you know I want him to be aggressive like abnormally aggressive for someone who would be in a clan full of people who know how to use ice and control ice you know because of the stereotype of ice is you know cool and calm and collected and stuff like that so I really wanted to flip it right and because of that, we came up with the idea that he actually was challenging his clan. It's like, look, we, we need to be aggressive and we need to go forward. We're powerful and, you know, this, that, and the other thing. We are, you know, powerful and we should be able to do something. And so he was constantly fighting with the leaders and the other, the grandmasters before he became a grandmaster. And they were constantly at odds, you know, this is not the way we do things. You cannot do this. We represent something different, you know, a balance. And he was like, this is insane. This shouldn't be happening. We need to do something else. And so he actually got banished as would person, you know, would happen. You're not listening to the teachings of the clan, so therefore you must go. And so he was banished. And the thing is, is that he then goes to create his own band of misfits, right? So he he's finding these people who were banished or misunderstood. And it's like, this, this isn't right. You have a talent, you should be in charge. And he's creating pretty much this little ninja clan of these very powerful ninjas that have been rejected by whatever reason, for whatever reason, whatever, you know, uh, clan, wherever they came from. So you get to see a very nice mix. And what I plan on doing with these characters is having this very nice mix, different body shapes, different types of people. And it's this small group, probably no more than six. Um, but I'll bring that up to the chat, you know, in and, and, and the stream and be like, hey, should it be six, should it be eight, you know, and he's got these characters that are unique amongst themselves, but together they are very powerful and very f formidable because, you know, they are going against what people know. So if you see someone coming up and he's all iced out, you're like, oh, okay, I know how to get you know by this person and all of a sudden he's just jumping in full force and you're just like whoa i don't know what's going on the same thing like, you know having an earth character or something of that nature right so it's going to be interesting to push this story even though grandmaster rhymes not necessarily a character that is going to be like one of the main story points it's cool to have him in there right and it's cool to have this group of people that we can actually pull from and go oh you know we can pull these people so i'm creating these casts of characters that may come in later or that would be dlcs or that would be you know uh just characters that you can unlock and stuff like that so it's really cool to outfit this world with side characters and stuff like that one of the things that was really cool you know and when i'm developing this as a story and the world is still in development while I'm creating these characters to try and create a buzz for the project, I start getting bits of information that are really, really exciting to me that, you know, push the story just a little bit further. And I think that that's really what's, you know, the, the important part when it comes to character design and world building is that you might pull a little bit of information from here, from there. And one of the things that I've realized, because I, I was giving him these royal colors, you know, purple and gold, and I was like, oh, well, maybe he, you know, believes that he is something special, which we've established he does believe that he should be something different, you know, and so he's using these colors in which they will all, that entire group will have this purple and gold, you know, uh, color scheme. But the thing that came out of this was the progression of rank when it comes to ninjas 
all right so when you're a first ninja right you, your suit is the exact same nothing changes right but as you move up a little bit your color might change like you might be the red ninja or the white ninja right and you've moved up in rank based on where you are within the families and then once you uh <clears throat> once you are able to become like a ninja master right so you got ninja and then lead ninja which changes color and stuff like that then once you become ninja master you get a mask right you get to decide on the mask and then you can create your outfit however you see fit right but the last one and the the signifier for grand master is the hood okay so if you if you see a ninja with a hood you instantly know that this is the Grand Master, right? Like, oh, this is the top guy. We need to watch out for that. And that came about with this character, right? With the name when it's like, oh, Grand Master Rhyme. You're like, okay, well, this person has a hood. I have a couple other people that have hoods. Oh, well, maybe they're very special. Maybe they are top tier. You know, they are at the top of their, their clan. Right, and so that's what came out of here. So as you can see, he is a Grand Master. He is one of the top ninjas that was in his clan and stuff like that. So you have to watch out for this guy, right? So he's he's pretty dangerous. So a lot of things are happening with this, you know, character, with this world that I'm looking to the community to try and help build. So if you are interested in either A, getting your own character created for the Ninja Empire or the Ninja Empire style, or you just want to join in and help decide what characters are going to be in the Ninja Empire, please head on over to my Patreon, sign up for one of the tiers, there are a couple there, and I hope to see you there so that we can make this game, this project, something very special that we worked on together. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you at the next video. But remember, born a ninja, die a ninja. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support the Ninja Empire, please consider going over to my Patreon page. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please click on any of the videos that you see. Also, if you'd like to see a more behind-the-scenes look at what I do on a daily day basis, please head on over to my vlog channel. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the next video.